Well, hello there, and thanks for tuning in. Um, I wanted to try out Sherlock Holmes The Awakened. It came out today. It's a remake of, uh, I think it's a game from 2008. I didn't play that. Um, I have it in my Steam library, but I never got to play it. And um, I played the demo of this one, and I was intrigued anyway, because um, I found that the mixture of Sherlock Holmes and HP Lovecraft um it's very fascinating uh it's not a new idea and it wasn't a new idea in 2008 either because i remember like 20 years ago i found this book with short stories by different authors like neil gaiman and people like that um with sherlock holmes stories set in the lovecraft universe and mixing those two franchises franchises i guess you call them anyway um that sounded really fascinating to me i did like the demo and the game came out today um i did pre-order this game um it's uh made by a small ukrainian studio uh they did the other Sherlock games as well um and i'm sure you've heard what's going on in the ukraine and uh, i saw some tweets by the developers and they were describing how you know how what it's like to be a game developer uh, during a war and you know all the stuff that's going on there so um i want to support the studio and i hope these guys are okay um hope they're safe so um without further ado let us start the game Playing this with a controller, by the way. Dr. Watson, would you kindly close the door behind you so that we can limit the price of your carelessness to merely hours of work rather than days? My apologies, Mr. Holmes. I found myself rather taken aback. <laughs> I saw tidier houses in war torn Afghanistan. Are those my surgical needles? I ran out of tax and the matter required immediate attention. Was that my supper? Oh, this English is loud enough. I was the one who ate it. Don't get the mm, subtitles going anyway. For this evening. And for that I am grateful. Is that my bed? Watson, since you've proven yourself a master of observation, might I ask you to apply your skills to a more pertinent question? Namely, the whereabouts of today's newspapers. They are the key to everything. The newsboy is usually reliable. Medically speaking, I often find that the key to everything is good sleep in a bed. Your papers are here, on the table. Let us see what the postman brought today. One thing that stands out and that I really like is the character you can tell. Um, he looks like the aged version of the character from the last game, which was, uh, what was it called, Year One or something? Um, or Chapter One. Sherlock Holmes chapter one because it was about his youth and we also have these things on the wall which were in the previous game as well so moving around with the left stick and we can press A to interact with, pro, uh, with, with objects and we're supposed to check our mail so let's do that and we can actually hold and inspect stuff I trust that you'll read what's on the screen. Um, don't know if I should read it out. So, let's scroll down. I think this is based on... Isn't that based on uh, one of the uh, Sherlock Holmes stories? That scandal? Not sure. Local gossip, all of it uninteresting. So let's check out the next item. We can rotate it with the stick. Your order from Barnes Bookshop has arrived, Doctor. Barnes insists on delivering the books to our door, even though we could easily walk to his shop. 
That's good service. <laughs> so, yeah. It's like Amazon 130 years ago or so. Another letter from Verna. I never reply, but they keep coming. Okay, so we found all three Get items. Where is it? Pardon me? I am on the precipice of uncovering a pattern of crime across London spanning many months and involving many men. The missing paper cannot be a coincidence. That's preposterous. My dear fellow, life is infinitely stranger than anything which the mind of man can invent. Well, life used your newspaper to wipe its posterior, so after that unpleasant discovery this morning, I disposed of it. But in lieu of the strand, perhaps I can deliver you something equally tantalizing. I have just returned from a patient of mine, Captain Stemwick. Who? No, no, that will not do. Grab your coat, Dr. Watson. Let us hope nobody has collected the dustbin. Okay, so the strand is missing. So let us check. Maybe there's something else to discover. So let's take a quick look around. And I already made a mess. I'm sorry. But this looks like a mess anyway. All that stuff going on. Some music stand. Because as we know... Uh, Holmes like to play the violin. And I don't think I can interact with stuff other than what I'm supposed to interact with. So let us go and check for the trash. Oh, the case. Hey. Okay, let's put on a hat. Yeah, classic Holmes look, right? Um, yeah, that should do well. And I like the description. Cool and warm. Uh, hold on. Let me see once more. Got all kinds of... That's a nice wind coat. All this is unlocked already. It's pretty interesting. An ugly beige street suit. The worst suit in the game. Just awful. So the game is being self-aware. And this is mentioning Cthulhu, which is a character from the Cth uh, Cthulhu myth. Was not a creation by Lovecraft. The character, but yeah. And I guess, I don't know if this is a reference to the show with Cumberbatch. So we've got that, we've got glasses. I guess we have to dress up at some point. Just something that Holmes was really good at. Fake bruises. And we can also dress Mr. Watson. Dr. Watson, sorry. Okay, so all dressed up in style. Okay. Um, let us see. Okay. You were mistaken, Dr. Watson. The paper was indeed dirtied, but not how you implied. It's potting soil. That's clue number one. So, do I have to inspect this little thing? A cactus spine. If it gets in your skin, it's awfully tricky to remove, and when laced with poison, the perfect assassination tool. See, Watson? The conspiracy is real. Someone tried to poison me. Poison? You? That's madness. Get the strand. Get your copy of the strand here. Ah, oh, there we go. Sorry, Mr. Holmes. I just sold my last paper. Glassed. Then why are you still here? Boss pays by the hour. No sense in returning early. 
Any breaking news today? The dock accident. It's the talk of the town. Yes, yes. Besides the tripe on the front page, anything about burglaries? I'm not sure, sir. You're a bright child. I presume you see everything that goes on around here? Nothing gets past me, mister. Then tell me, did you notice anyone suspicious at my door this morning? Hmm. Like the man with your newspaper? Precisely. What do you know? I know the value of a shilling. Dr. Watson. <laughs> cool. Now I can take the day off. Did you see what he was up to? Nah, not really. I saw him approaching your house, but I had a customer. Then there's a loud bang. I ducked down. Not because I was scared, because I wasn't. I had to protect the merchandise. And all I could see was him kneeling at your door. Which way did he go? Not sure. I was distracted. Can you describe the man you saw? He was carrying a lot of books. Up to his chin they were. Never heard of a well-read assassin. Looks can deceive. Hence the appeal of disguises. All right. You earned your shilling. That'll be all. Thanks, Mr. Holmes. Maybe I could be your eyes and ears. If you have more shillings. Get the strand. Get your copy of the strand here. Well, I do like the design. I like the atmosphere. This really does look how I would imagine Baker Street the strand. back Get then. Copy of the, strand here. the characters, the faces are when when there are close-ups, it's a little bit uncanny valley style. So okay, let us go and go to the mine palace. Oh. I don't quite know. Observations. Okay. We figured this out. I hope, uh, I'm not quite sure whether you can actually have some wrong theories going on, where you actually uh, combine the two, two uh, wrong hints or whatever, or com combine them wrongly. Uh, I don't know if you can, but I guess this makes sense. So yeah, and I love the look of that um, Mind Palace. It looked different than the other games. And this has a little bit, I mean, could be something that you see in a microscope, could also be something that you would probably see in Cthulhu's wardrobe or something, I don't know. So we've got that, we've got the um, casebook, um, where, you know, all the stuff is noted, which is nice. So we can actually read up on stuff and reread things. We've got a map. And... Then we've got the costumes. Mr. Holmes, murder? Yes, Barnes has his quirks, but he also has his scruples. Okay. Pin the evidence with the bookshop photo by pressing X. Try to find the bookshop. Do. Um, there we go. So we got that pinned. And can we take a look? Barnes Bookshop. Get the strand. Get your copy of so the strand question here. is... There's nothing else right now that we can actually... Uh, that we can actually look at. Because I don't think it is... Um, possible to look at the map and see where the bookstore is. So I guess we'll have to just walk and look around. And I, they just mentioned Cordoba, so that's pretty interesting because I think that's a hint at the previous game. May I ask you something? As much as I'd like to help you, I know nothing about it. Okay, so apparently this guy doesn't know where the bookshop is. Ah, there we go. I know Sherlock Holmes is like a master detective and stuff, and uh, he probably can afford it, but. Do we really need like a book delivery, you know, uh, at like 50 meters of difference? So, new books in store. Uh, Charles Dickens. Uh, Gogo. Cool. Edgar Allan Poe. Let's go in there. 
regarding loading times, I've got this installed on an SSD drive. So maybe that helps. I love how Watson immediately is busy looking at books. So let's talk to the guy. Let's observe first. Okay, so did lots of work. He's got dirt on his hand. Maybe newspaper ring. And sore left leg. I think he was kneeling in front of my door, right? So that may be the reason. And we can see these little yellow dots hinting at where the evidence may be. Okay. So Mr. Barnes has developed a limp. Large backs on the resides. Uh, could still be a pawn on a bigger plan without his knowledge. So we can actually decide whether um, we think he's a workaholic or whether he's a blackmail victim. Um, let's see what's on the blackmail victim. He has developed a limb like a result of an attack. He wears high heels to look taller or stronger. Uh, Mr. Barnes is being threatened by someone who might be involved in the plot against me. <laughs> let's let's try this one because he may be involved but may not know that he did something he's not very confident it seems unlikely that such a person would be involved in a murder plot even if the ink on his hand suggests he's the one who sold the newspaper Mr. Barnes? let's see oh, if we got this right maybe we we'll, hopefully we'll figure it out Sherlock Holmes, now will you please... Mr. Holmes, sorry I did not see you coming. Would you care to answer some questions for me? Well, I wish I could, but I am deep in the weeds with work. How about we uh, reschedule in a month or two? Come now, Mr. Barnes. It will only take a moment. <laughs> really deep in the weeds with, uh, with important things. Well, help yourself to any book, just... Take me to pay later. I trust you, Mr. Holmes. Barnes doesn't seem like himself. Why is he acting this way? You're asking the right questions, Doctor. Let's find a way to coax him out. Okay, so before we go on, I have a little request. If you have played the original uh, and just you, you're seeing this video, um, if the game, if you, if you can remember whether this is like exactly what happened in the first game, would you be so kind of leave a comment and tell me? Because I'd really like to know whether this is exactly how the game from 2008 went. Um, because I think I'm actually glad I didn't play the original. Um, because, you know, all of this is new. So I would like to know, did they redo the quests and the dialogue and everything? Like the hints and clues? Or is it like... Uh, it used to be in the game. So, let me know if you can. Also, I turned up the volume in-game a little bit. I hope that's better. I'm not sure whether it was too dark, uh, too low sound-wise. So, let us see. The ladder is broken recently, judging by the freshness of the wood. Okay, so we're going to examine. So, Barnes has a dog now. Who's a good boy? I could hardly imagine anything more macabre. Yeah, that has a uh, Lovecraft vibe to it. Hold on, let me unpin the evidence. Because it's taken up too much um, screen space. Ah, I see. It's a jungle book. Hmm. 
Maybe I should have examined this before. Because this is a hint that he knew that he was the one who picked the cactus or whatever. And I wish I could examine this book. Because this looks like one of those forbidden books. Basics of crypto analysis, cryptography in Egypt. It appears Barnes has an interesting hobby. Okay, so Barnes has always been a little odd, but this is uncharacteristic. Maybe if Watson leaves and the bell rings, maybe the guy will think. That I left? I don't know, because I had a yellow dot there, telling me that there's something there. Ah, more evidence. Yeah, I guess I should have looked around more before I talked to the guy. In the language of Mycroft's secret agents, it's a sign. Dried flowers are replaced when the job is done. I wonder who the recipient is. Learn something new every day. Improvised stand, but it does make the flowers more visible. The finest view London has to offer. Okay, but we still haven't figured out how to get the guy out of the room. Uh, apologies, but I can't hear you. Please come back later. So let us see. I'm looking for a cactus needle in a haystack. Hmm. A spine in a book stack? No, come on, Watson, think. I like bookshops. One of the few spots in London where you were shunned for making a racket. Okay, that doesn't seem to be it and I think my goal is to get him out of the room freshly broken wrong looking for clues let us see whether I should talk to the lady on the other side of the street now the weather is dreary isn't it to be fair my flowers could use the rainfall Ah, okay. More clues, I guess. Encouraging people to stop and smell the roses. Our national emblem. God save the queen. It must take patience and care to produce a bloom so beautiful. I imagine so. And there I we go. Sell them. Guess that is the cactus. The pot is damaged. The blow was severe, but softened by something. Gotta find more evidence there. Familiar spine. This is what I found in my dustbin. Anything tickle your fancy, Mr. Holmes? Okay, so she seems to be well dressed for uh, someone who's selling flowers, I guess. Ah, 
And there we go. Something else in her face. <clears throat> so these are the two theories. Um, either she's like reeling from her tragic loss. Or, <laughs> I mean, that she, like one theory is she's um, using her makeup to conceal, like that she cried and everything, and she's like still in grieving. And this one says, you know, uh, she cherishes the memory of her departed husband. She's trying to move on. Um, perhaps she's dressing up to attract someone's attention, or simply because she's learned to love herself again. Well, I would think it's ready to move on because she's wearing luxury, luxury stuff. And maybe I'm on the wrong track here, but um, her saying like anything tickle your fancy. I don't know if that's like a grieving widow. You look particularly lovely today. Is there a reason? Does a woman need a reason to look or feel beautiful? No, but your distant look suggests you seek one man's gaze in particular. Who told you that? Nobody. Merely a keen eye and some simple deduction. Well, I'll kindly ask you to keep your keen eye to yourself, Mr. Holmes. I'll be off. Oops. Provide evidence. Um, do we have... Uh... Are you sure you're asking the right person? I'm just a flower seller. Okay, that didn't work. I'm afraid I can't help with that, Mr. Holmes. Okay. I'll be off. So we've got nothing that we can use on her. I mean, we don't quite, we can't quite guess here what, how, in how far she's involved. The only hint is that we can examine her and like, you know, talk to her and stuff. So we don't know. Still don't know how to get the guy out of that room. And I don't think there's anything else really to observe. So we've got a letter with a broken rung. We cannot talk to the guy anymore. So, answers a dog now. Who's a good boy? Can we do anything with the dog? So, answers a dog now. Who's a good boy? Maybe. Let's see. Do we need to actually? Yeah. Why is Barnes acting so strangely? Um. I can't pick this. I think I have to switch to an item now. Observations. Nope. Okay, so let's go back. We got that. We don't have that yet. So Barnes broken letter. Hmm. again hard to say how to say so we need something else and I guess this one nope So let's check the help. When a new question to answer, or when you have enough evidence to answer one question, press to get the case book, select the question you want to answer, try to answer by linking relevant evidence. Okay. So let's go back and let's try again. Why is he acting so strangely? Nope, 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 nope. That's not it. 
So that flowers on display. Got that. No, right now I'm just guessing. So now we need something. Damn it. That can't be it. Nope. So it seems that we got that one right with the that flowers and display. <laughs> Can I actually remove this? Oh, yeah. I can't, um, like, unselect this one. So let us see. Okay. So it has to have to do with this one. Let's remove that. I wouldn't think that that has anything to do with each other. And I can pick more than one. Nope. I have no idea right now. So, well, the impact of the pot was, um, was stopped by something. So maybe the ladder is broken recently, judging by the freshness of the wood. That nah, can be that. So let us try again. Let's deselect that one. But this one. And now we need something else. Yeah, but we can't really select anything else. So maybe we have to pick something else. Okay. Mm, oh yeah, right. We have to put in some evidence first. Character portraits. Could it be this one? Nope. So we need gr something green as well. Oh, and we can't use the same ones here. Death flowers and display. So let us unpin that one. Hmm, I wonder whether maybe it's like that flowers and then miss. Mr. Barnes, Mrs. Fleming. No, we can't pick that. Can be this either. I feel really stupid right now. This is actually a little tough. Let me check the help once more. It's been a while since I played that other game. And then select the question you want to answer. Try to answer it by linking relevant evidence. All evidence is broken. Three categories. Appears no difference. Green. 
When all correct links have been made, the evidence will be combined and the answer revealed. Often you will not have all the correct answer to re So keep investigating until you do. So maybe that is it. So let us unpin the evidence. And let's look around a little more. I don't think there's anything I missed because I checked almost every corner. But maybe there's something on the outside of the store. Don't think so, though. Nothing here. Something on the back side, maybe? Oh, that's nice. Nope, doesn't seem like it. What's this? Stature, strong gaze. I think this man deserves a knighthood. <laughs> no, it's Who Arthur knows? Conan Doyle. How can you be so sure? On rare occasions, Watson, it can suffice to trust one's gut. I remember the demo and the riddle in there um, was pretty simple. This one is a bit harder, I have to say, because I really can't connect those items right now. We've got the needle. And he's got this thing on exotic flowers there. But somehow I can't really combine it, I think. Let's see. Exotic plant catalog. But you can only pick one of these. So. I don't think I can... Um, I don't think it has an effect on this here. So, can I? I cannot unselect this one, which is odd. Nope, can't unselect it. So, it has to have something to do. Um with that so we've got that flowers on display which is supposed to be a signal to say the job is done no can't have one have to do with that right no Nope, I don't have any more proof. So maybe I actually have to go back all the way and check back at my place. Uh, which is around here. Help me, please. No, sir, I've never heard of it. Okay, and the yellow signals only mean, the yellow dots only tell me it's something or someone I can interact with. Hmm. Get the strand. Get your copy of the strand here. Don't know if the kid has anything else to say. I'll stand watch, just in case the strange man comes back. And there's nothing else around here, I believe. So yeah, either I'm being stupid, or I'm getting the mechanics wrong with the mind palace, or we're missing something that could be a piece of evidence. Hello there. What's oh, the name. Not very original. The dark, right? I'll be off. No, I thought I could interact with the dark somehow. I can't go in there either. 
But anyway, I'm already at 40 minutes. I only wanted to do like 30 minutes because it's been a long day. And I just want to give you a quick first impression of the game. But uh, this really looks intriguing. I feel a little stupid right now because I can't quite figure out how to combine stuff in the mind palace. But I like the atmosphere and I can't wait to figure out how to solve that riddle. Um, let's see. What mode is this? Didn't you once tell me that answers usually lie in plain sight? Hmm. I don't think that's helpful either. I checked all this out. The ladder nope. is broken recently, judging by the freshness of the wood. Nope, nope, nope. There's nothing else in the store that I could explore. Maybe you're sitting out there, um, like ice palming because I'm missing something very obvious, but I don't think I am. I mean, there's nothing else here. And the only thing I can think of is that there's something wrong, that I'm missing something about the, um, about that mind palace thing, but I can't figure it out because, yeah, this worked. Um, because we've got this one marked and I can't unmark it for some reason. Just really weird. Can't unmark it here either. Mm, let's see. And yeah, I think I need some other kind of evidence, like a green one, like a document or testimony. And I don't have that. And uh, I only have two documents. Or testimonies. The newspaper and this. And even when I pin it, it won't show up here. So yeah, I'm kind of stumped right now. Can't wait to play it a little more. And... Um, Thanks for watching. Hope this was like a little helpful if you were on the fence about buying this game. I'm glad I did. Can't wait to explore more. And I guess I need some coffee and some thinking to do. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Okay, okay. I have to go back. <clears throat> you can tell this game has fascinated me. And I want to try something else because I think I did all of this. I'm back at the lady, Mrs. Fleming. And so let me do the following. Let me ask One about this. Is not like the other. Come again? The cactus. Those fearsome spines can prove a devil to remove. And the sap is often toxic. And a rose thorn can give you tetanus, but we still grow. Uh, ah. The cactus seems comparatively harmless. Though you have me thinking it must be valuable. I was under the impression that you knew its price already. Your guess is as good as mine. The first time I saw this cactus was when I came back from my break. Okay. What do you make of the flowers in Barn Shop Window? Well, they could use a bit of water. Do they mean anything to you? Mean anything how? I'm not sure I follow Mr. Holmes. Why do you think they're there? Are you suggesting... The flowers are for me. It seems likely, does it not? Oh, I hope you're right. Okay. Are you familiar with Mr. Barnes? Yes. No, not really. Well, <laughs> well in a way. He seems to be interested, so I asked her I about know him. who he is, of course. But we haven't shared much more than a look. A look? Yes. Each morning I go for a walk in the park with my dog. And most days I spot Mr. Barnes there with his new puppy. So we'd see each other. Actually, we once met briefly while our dogs played. He was quiet and seemed unsteady as he approached. But since then, 
We've never spoken. I often see him staring through the shop window. Sometimes I wonder what he thinks about that would etch such longing onto his face. Okay, we've got some evidence updated. So let us see if we can now combine the stuff. So we got the dead flowers that were meant for her. We have Mrs. Slamming on Barnes. That one is new. So we need one more. We need a blue one. Is it roses for sale? Nope. And is it cactus in a cracked pot? Ah, okay. So here's the explanation. He displays a bouquet of dead flowers to attract her attention. He may hope she will come into his shop and give him watering advice. He gifted her a cactus, which she ordered from the catalog on his counter. Oh, okay. This is the same cactus he dropped on the strand outside Baker Street. Now to hear the full story. Cool. Progress. Hmm. I, uh... I think perhaps I have been chasing shadows. So maybe he wasn't in Even the best of us make on a murdering plot. You better tell Mr. Barnes he just did learned. the whole thing to impress that lady. So let's talk. Mr. Barnes, I know what you did, and I know why you did it. I'm sorry, Mr. Holmes. I can't hear you very well from behind the door. You ordered a cactus from the plant catalogue and then left it for Mrs. Fleming as a gift. You place flowers in the window to get her attention and wear high heels to appear taller and more desirable. You are her secret admirer. Yeah, guess I got it. I couldn't read this morning's edition of The Strand because it was covered in soil and spines. I know you dropped a cactus on it and then fled. Barnes, it's Dr. Watson. Rest assured, we are not interested in disclosing your personal affairs to anyone, including Mrs. Fleming. Please come out. Uh, oh. So, you know what happened then? I was on my way back from the post office, having picked up the cactus and some books. It was quite an awkward package, heavy too. And when I got to your door, I dropped the cactus in your paper. Forgive me. I needed that paper to prove a theory and prevent a crime. Your actions were rather disruptive. Your clumsiness carrying the post I just is matched the only by the clumsiness of your Very classy. Gesture. Oh, it's true. I am useless with this sort of thing. I'm not even sure if Mrs. Fleming noticed. I have neither the experience well, Holmes isn't really navigating the finer sex and their peculiarities. Very experienced there. You will. Oh, right. Yes, of course. So, at last, we return to the matter of the paper. I'm investigating a string of burglaries. Did you perhaps read of any before the edition was spoiled? I don't recall, but you're welcome to read our copy for yourself. You had an issue of the Strand here all along? Well, Yeah, we saw it, right? I am a bookseller. I have a subscription to every magazine and newspaper in London. So you ought to be familiar with the concept of burying the lead. I... Oh, no. Uh, my apologies, Mr. Holmes. I'll make it up to you however I can. I am an expert on obscure languages and translation and... and uh... Yes, yes, okay. Just give me the paper. Cool. So here's the paper I was looking for. Saltpeter Explosion Rock Stocks. Merchant Ship Mosker docked at Pier Number 3 in the early evening en route to Europe. Port authorities said to comment on the incident. Eyewitness reports seeing Salpita leak into the river, but with the area still of limits. Okay. Come, Dr. Watson. Let us put this matter behind us. Farewell, Mr. Cool. Barnes. I hope to hear so we've got our first investigation there. scene completed, and I what I love is how this captivated me, actually. Well, that was an utter... An assassination did seem rather unlikely. Hold on. There was supposed to be another burglary. I was certain of it. Hmm... Something you wish to say, Doctor? No. Well, only that you have a remarkable faculty for deduction and pattern recognition. 
And that perhaps, if ill applied, I see things that are not there. Yes. It is London. There will always be burglaries. Doesn't have to mean anything. Yeah, well, I guess so that will be one of the topics in the game. Forgive me. With insanity Without always being part my mind, I turn into an of the whole Lovecraftian thing, you know, seeing things that aren't there. I think I have a case Maybe he'll doubt his sanity at some Truly. point. Indeed. They're perhaps not as thrilling as your stories from Cordona. And another reference to the previous game. Told me that his servant disappeared. I said I knew just the man to help. <laughs> what do you say? Oh, Watson. Yes, I know it's not the most tantalizing mystery in all the story to launch my writing career, but it's brilliant. Let's go. Oh, good. Well, his house is nearby. Come. Okay, so let me save the game. Uh, first impressions, I'm really fascinated because um, I wanted to stop the video and, um, you know, end my gaming session for today but then i was like kind of it, it was nagging on me that i couldn't find out that riddle so um i went back and tried it and then i found what it is you really have to pay attention you really have to be careful and that makes sense because it's a detective game about like a very um observant um you know a really really a detective who really pays a lot of attention so this makes sense um, I'm sure it's gonna, there's gonna be some tricky parts. As I said, the part in the demo was rather easy when I played the demo, where you had to like, you know, find a way to knock out a guard. Um, but, you know, this was a bit more tricky and I guess that was a tutorial. And now, the story's gonna start, the game's gonna be afoot. Um, I'm sure I'll continue playing this game soon. I'm currently busy with my Ultima replay or my Ultima um, 4 let's play serious which i'm looking forward to but i'm also looking forward to playing this more so if you can check it out support the studio um and uh i'll hopefully have a new video soon thank you for watching and this time i'm gonna go for sure so see you next time Bye bye